Adrian Gutierrez and fighting Kyle Estrada April 10th at the Commerce Casino for Bama USA Bad Beat 15. Yeah, I've been uh, active the last two Bama fights. Um, you know, they're two tough fights. I mean, I learned that I need to work a lot on my wrestling. I got taken down a lot, controlled, pretty much controlled the whole fight, the last fight. You know, I was able to stand up a couple times, throw in a couple shots. And, you know, every time, especially with the first fight I had, every time I... I connected with my opponent, he went right to his wrestling and took me down. So I've been working a lot on the takedown defense, trying to stay on my feet as much as I can. Even though, you know, my ground game is, is good, I have good jiu-jitsu, you know, I'm old school striking guy. I like to stay on my feet and, and throw punches. I train at a Tomaselli Academy uh, in Costa Mesa, California. Um, training's been going good, you know, I've shortened up my training camp this time just because, you know, I've been active the last six months. Have, this is going to be my third fight in six months, so, you know, it takes a little toll on my body, you know, I'm, I'm up there in age, so, you know, I just need a little bit of rest and hopefully I come in 100% ready to go for this fight. Yeah, my training's changed a lot over the years, and, you know, when I was, when I barely started, when I was 18, 17 years old, I can go, you know, go hard every day, every day, you know, hours, two, three hours a day, just go hard and hard and not worry too much about getting hurt, and even if I did, I would recover pretty fast and, you know still be able to keep going but now that I'm getting older you know it changes I got to slow it down a little bit and be more more smart the way I train you know be smarter with my diet to make sure that you know I have the energy to keep going um, but you know what changes the most is I've I've cut down on the time I don't train you know four or five hours a day I cut it down two or three you know and I take breaks before I used to never take breaks because I wasn't tired you know, I was young, I was, you know, ready to go. But now I, you know, I need time to relax. You know, and I take the weekend off, spend time with my family because all the time that I'm away from home, that changes a lot. You know, I have a family now and I need to spend time with them. So I take weekends off and relax, enjoy time with them. And then when Monday starts, I go get back on the grind. You know, 2015, my plans, um, you know, I try to want to stay active, you know, get in as many fights as I can. And, but most importantly, I want to get that win. I want to get that first win out of the way and, you know, go from there and hopefully get a streak going. But I just want to stay active. I want to keep fighting as long as I can, you know. I'm almost, you know, I'm going to be 37 this year. And, you know, I don't want to be doing this, you know, five, six years down the road. You know, I'm going to be over 40. Um, I just want to get as many fights as I can as when I'm healthy and, you know, hopefully get that, you know, stay stay active as much as I can before, you know, before my body tells me it's time to stop. Uh, what I know about my opponent is, uh, I mean, he comes from good camp. His, I think Black House MMA and uh, Sixty Muay Thai, which are two good, good training camps, good schools. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all I know. I know he won his last couple of amateur fights, the TKO in the first round. So what I know is he's, he's a good fighter and he comes out, you know, ready to, ready to fight. So. I'll be ready for that. I mean, it kind of fits into my game plan the way I fight because I like to go out and just start, you know, just go straight forward and attack. So, you know, we'll see how it turns out. Um, like I said, he's a good fighter. He has a good good record coming in, and, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Well, my fan base has grown a little bit. I have people that have come out with friends of mine that invited them to come out to the fights to have a good time, and they've seen me a couple times, and they want to keep coming back. Um, now that I'm actually more active and it's sometimes you talk to these people and they don't know the whole aspects of the pro MMA fight they think it's you know it's one of these everybody thinks you're in the UFC which is you have to sit there and explain to them I'm not in the UFC this is I'm up and coming this is the beginning this is where we all start you know we we don't make you know what you guys think everybody makes we come out here and we grind you know everything is struggle we work hard for what we do and we just you know They've, they've seen it. They've seen my social media posts where I'm dead tired from, you know, training all day and I have to go do stuff to, to help me, you know, get sponsors and, you know, all, all the hard work that comes into it. I don't have that big team to do it for me. I have to go out and do everything myself. With Bama USA, I mean, it, it feels, you know, it, it's a small promotion, local base, but it feels big time. You come in there, you come into the, the Commerce Casino, to the barroom, and you just see the cage and the way they set up everything and the way they treat you and you know coming up to the fight the way they promote you and they promote the fights you know it's a great feeling you know it's 
it's close comparing it to the high level. You know, if people don't know, you know what what that you know what that feels like. This is one of those shows where you want to come in and check it out. Especially they have the red carpet before the fights. That's you know who does that. That's awesome. You know, the people, the fans get to see you know what what it's like. You know, something big but at a local local venue. Um, yeah, the thing with the online is awesome because you know you have fans that can't come in. Some people, for whatever reason, they work or they're out of town or they're doing something that they can't come out to the fights because you know everybody has busy lives and they can't come out and check it out. The great the pay per view is awesome. You know I have friends that catch it, they've caught it on pay per view and they they say it's a great experience. It's almost you know it's just like watching watching an event on you know a UFC event on TV it's just a great the commentating is great and then the angles of the camera it's just a great show that they put on um everybody can follow me on Facebook at Adrian Gutierrez at Facebook and then on uh, Instagram I'm at Adrian dot Gutierrez dot James Geo 3 uh, Instagram or you can just hashtag Mexican rage and uh, I'll pop up there somewhere um people that come out to the fight can expect me to just go out there and do what I do I come out aggressive and go out there and put a, put on a show for the people. I don't I don't sit back. I don't I don't go to win the fight on points. I go there to fight. I go there to finish the fight. And you know if I can't finish the fight, I guarantee it's going to be one of the exciting fights. And you know probably every time I step in the cage, my goal is to get a fight of the night, no matter what. The fight could be over in 30 seconds. It could go all three rounds. But those th if it goes 30 seconds, those 30 seconds are going to be amazing. And I want to. Thank my sponsors, Volcon Fight Company, um, Antojitos Don Chepe in Santa Ana, uh, Picates Martins, Mexican restaurant in uh, Babo Island, and also uh, RobertVicencio.com is a clothing line. And um, my personal trainer, uh, Zuri Harris, Body by Z, um, and, you know, and everybody at Thomas City Academy. And I also want to thank, first off, my wife and my daughter for all their support just because I'm gone all the time and they uh, deal with me being gone and only seeing them a couple hours a day or sometimes not even a full hour so I want to thank them especially and also all my training partners all my friends over at Thomas Silly Academy and you know thanks for you guys if it wasn't for you guys I would, you know I wouldn't be here uh, come out April 10th Commerce Casino Bad Beat 15 watch me take on Kyle Estrada I guarantee you will not be disappointed Fight of the night.